What's up, what's up, and welcome to another episode of Kicking It with Moats and Baby. The pack has finally dropped. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Now, <clears throat> did a video talking about these sneakers, you know, getting ready to release. And I was excited about them, man. And I said, you know, when they drop, I'm probably going to cop them, man, because of the story, man. We got a reggaeton superstar artist who had a collab with Jordan. And he gave us the first version, which was that Medellin sunset. But then he spent the block on us and came back and did one for the daddies out here. Did one for the fathers that care about their sons. Talking about them Rios, baby. The J Balvin. Jordan 3, Rio. Uh, let me get the box. Look, he kind of heavy. Pack just dropped, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. So you know we're going to have to do a full review. So hit that like button one time for the culture. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel, baby. <clears throat> As you can see on the box, man, we clean with it, baby. We clean with it. Jordan 3. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's what you love to see, baby. It's what you love to see. Um, for me, man, size 13 was what I went with. Obviously, slides off like so. So you get the transition from the dark cover up there to now a little bit more of the you know cooler, lighter hues on this thing. But you see the theme, man, light to dark, right? We want that light to come from the darkness, man. That's the whole concept behind the shoe. All right, obviously you can see that even on the side with the nice elephant prints, one of the key staples for any Jordan 3, okay? And then even on the outline of the box on the siding of it, you can see, like I said, the colors, right? How they pop beautifully, that transition, man. And then obviously the J Balvin logo sitting beautifully up top as well. Oh! Stuff just dropping, 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 dropping. It'd be like that sometimes though, right? Hey. And you see, obviously, the cool paper has the same writing up there. All right. I should try to translate, but all it says basically is, a sunset always reminds me a new day full of opportunity is coming. Or if it was in Spanish, un atardarse en Medellin siempre me recuerdar que viene un nuevo día lleno de... Oh, it cut off for me. Man, I feel like it's a lot. Oh. Uh, dia lleno de oportunidades. Opportun oppor oportunidades. Yeah, we're going to hit it like that. All right, shout out to the Spanglish and the Espanol. One time for the coach. If you know, you know. All right. But now let's get to what we came to see. And that is... These beautiful Jordan 3 J Balvin Rios. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And obviously Rio, name of his uh, son. All right. And he said uh, the thought process or the theme is his son brought light to the darkness that he thought was his life. Gives him, you know, inspiration. That's his hope. That's his, you know, his reason, his why. And I love that as a father, as a guy who has a son as well, man. And I think of the same way how I look at my little guy and I'm like, man, I see all the beautiful things in you. You feel me? Even though you came from me, which is not always the most beautiful thing. It's like, man, I respect that, man. So, like I said, I definitely was going to support the movement. But then when you throw in just the simple, you know, colorway, right? Predominantly black. You can never go wrong with a predominantly black Jordan sneaker. Can never go wrong with that. But then you throw in your Jordan 3, you know, accents on the heel and on the uh, toe box, right? Love that elephant print. Always looks good. But then one of the things that always stood out to me when you talk J Balvin is the logo, man. I love the fact that we get his logo on the back along with the traditional Nike Air branding. Then throughout, you kind of get this, you know, mix of solar flare and crimson orange. You know, you kind of got that. And that's the beautiful part with it, man. Similar to the Medellin Sunsets, right? You have the uh, 
lighter color i think it was the cell as a whole but then from there you start to get some of that orange i believe with some purple it might have been in that sneaker as well just kind of signifying or uh, representing the different colors that you see when you see a sunset uh, a sunset you know some of the orange stuff like that man so i definitely was digging that let me get some of this paper out of here see if there's anything on the interior part of the sneaker right uh-huh uh-huh all right but obviously like i said man it comes with the additional orange lace y'all let me know we lace swapping these we're gonna swap them out or we keep the things bullet act i can see it either way low kid might have to throw it with the hoodie see what time we on tbd tbd all right y'all know i'm gonna take this off i don't i'm i don't know why i'm weird about it i don't like stuff dangling on my shoes but still fire though shout out to it man but you on the inside got a little bit of the sunset kind of being shown in there same on that one and then obviously the soles or bottoms of both sneakers got that beautiful beautiful pop of color can't go wrong with that i just think the contrast man and the same on the tongues as well i just think that contrast man off of the black it just flows perfectly man and yeah let me get this paper out there you go see that clean on the back so yeah man let me know your thoughts though on the j balvin rios if you're a fan of them if you're copping them or if you did get a pair already man but either way you know i appreciate you for tuning in and until next time baby you already know you gotta rock your heat